this particular topic gets a lot of people riled up. Uh, but I do think there is some cultural significance and other things that we can kind of tie this into as to why a lot of people get riled up. Now, I want to be the first to say that I am I don't believe in this whole body positivity, not in the sense of, well, people are <laughs> not in shape for lack of better terms. No, let's just be blunt. They are as big as a damn walrus. I am not one and nor have I ever been one that is going to sit here and praise you for being built like a damn whale, nor am I going to sit here and pretend like that is a positive thing or any or something worth striving for, or there's nothing wrong with you because you are as big as a walrus or a whale. Look, health is, and, and no, let me, let me just back check. If you go watch the, my look, go look at my social media. I posted this uh, sub on this subject matter. I did already post on it. And I said that true preventive care is in dieting and exercising. And you'd be surprised how that's a basic thing. Even your doctor, if they had a sense, any sort of sense, they'd agree with that uh, uh, statement. Now, of course, there are things that maybe you should be doing where it'd be going to the doctor and making sure you're getting your checkups, blood work done and stuff like that on an annual basis. However, even when it comes to things that they end up discovering uh, and catching early, a lot of that can be attributed due to your diet uh, and as well as you, you, lack of exercising and so forth. But you'd be surprised how many folks will sit here and make excuses or try to act, act as if they are exempt from it. I said something as basic as that. Don't believe me. Just go look at my social media. You had some people. Well, I know this one person that had child that, that who child had child cancer trying to find all of these exceptions to the rule to basically try to dismiss the fact one of them got like six chins. Uh, and it's like that's all they're trying to do is appeal to what is not the norm so they can excuse their own bad behavior. Right now. If you actually care about someone, I believe that you would tell them if they're a fat ass. Now, I'm not telling I'm not saying give unsolicited advice to an individual like you probably should just walk up to a fat ass person and say, hey, you're a fat ass. That's probably not the way that you go about it. Right. <laughs> now, if it's your friend or family member, yeah, you probably should. If you care enough about them, say, hey, you're a fat ass. Maybe not worded like that, but let's try to get something done about it. OK, let's try to get something uh, done about it because you want them to live long and healthy lives. Right. How many folks that we saw that I saw try to make excuses as to why that was not actual uh, something worth striving for? I would say it's alarming, but it's par for the course and other things, because you think about it when it comes to staying in shape. Right now, I get it. We all have different genetics and, and, and uh, uh, metabolism. Some lose, gain weight faster than others. Totally un understandable. But when it comes to that, staying in shape, definitely as you age, as you get older, where your metabolism slows down. What does that take in order to maintain? Well, hard work, most importantly, discipline. Discipline. Now, I'm not saying this just because I've been an athlete my entire life all the way through the co uh, collegiate level. But it does take a lot of discipline to remain in shape, to stay. It's one thing I mean, because it's easy to be a fat ass. It's easy to be a fat ass, but it's difficult to remain in shape, watching what you eat, watching what you consume. Now, obviously, you can give or take. You can afford a little more cheat days and stuff with your food if you are working out like a horse, which is why so many of the top tier athletes eat like pigs right um, now I would encourage you to eat semi healthy if, at, at minimum while also exercising uh, and what have you but that stuff takes discipline and it takes self responsibility it takes self accountability and these are all things not just in America but in all uh, spots throughout really the, the western world where so many people are trying to push off the accountability on either the group or other people altogether essentially ridding themselves 
of the responsibility and the accountability uh, accountability and this is why this whole uh, we've ushered in this whole movement of body positivity where instead of saying mm, that's probably not something that's worth striving for being a big as big as a, as a walrus or built like a walrus now we have this movement that is centered around praise not not accepting it praising it as if it is something worth striving for or you okay simply the way that you are other people may believe that i'm not one of them that shit is unhealthy and when it comes to true preventive care that all starts with the food that you're consuming and the um you know and whether or not you are you are exercising so dieting in that in that sense uh watching your diet having a proper balanced diet um uh, versus you know and exercising Versus obviously not. It's easy in the sense of identifying it. It's harder in the sense of executing it. But you think, and I did a video or rather a segment on this in a couple of episodes before, and I talked about how the state and these leftists, or this whole COVID-19 bull crap, they don't want you healthy. They want you dependent. You'd think that when looking at this virus, even the early numbers that we got early on, we knew that people with comorbidities, uh, people with obesity problems and issues like that were having the most trouble with COVID-19 in the event that they actually caught the virus. Now, you think that there will be some national um, orchestrated rather thing, let's say campaign to get people in shape. Tell people to watch what they're eating, encouraging them to exercise. That's the complete opposite of what they did. In fact, what was one of the first things to go when they said you must shut down? What was one of the first things to go? The gyms. The gyms. They said that that wasn't essential. Now, hmm. We know, according to their own data, that the people that are having issues with obesity are having the most issues with COVID-19. Why would the gyms be the first thing to go? And a lot of those are certainly way more cleaner than Walmart. Those of you that have been in any, any gym that gives a damn, constantly spraying down the weights, cleaning the machines. I say this as a former assistant general manager, eventually moving up to a general manager of a actual gym. That was my profession coming uh, fresh out of college. Saw so we did every 30 minutes. We had a, we had a, a, uh, a, 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 what do you, this little form, right? And we take the, we take the terms, even from the management, not just the clerks, the management, we go clean the machines. That's what we did. Nonetheless, the first thing to go was the gyms. Cause they don't want you healthy. They don't want you dependent, which is why so many of you just sit up here and say something is simple, which is objectively true. True, actual preventive care starts with your with your with what you're consuming and your exercise, essentially taking care of your body. That's where it starts, and it's not anything that I just pulled out of my behind. This is real talk. Even the what the American Cancer Society or whatever they even when it comes to cancers, hey, are a lot of research shows that uh, you know exercising and, and, and proper proper diet. You have uh, people that don't obviously do that have a way significantly higher chance of catching certain cancers or, you know, having developing uh, certain cancers. Some of that stuff is tied, not all of it, but some of that stuff is tied to what it is that you consume. But for whatever reason, saying something like that gets a lot of folks butt hurt. Because it takes accountability and it takes a responsibility and it takes discipline. And these are things that a lot of folks shy away from. Even when you look at COVID-19, they talk about the mask, right? Even the whole mask thing, it's whole, it, the idea is, well, the mask doesn't protect the individual. The mask protects someone else. That's the constant idea is that some your health should be in the hands or uh, take it you're in the hands of other people, which is why they don't want necessarily preventive measures or metrics, rather. What they want is to try to slap a Band-Aid on after you've already develop the issue so you've put yourself in a vulnerable population because you've eaten like dog shit or like a pig you don't exercise you don't take care of your body 
And now you feel like everybody else is responsible for you not getting sick, which is unbelievable to me. But that's sort of the world that we live in. Accountability and discipline is not something that people actually want. They want the opposite. They want to be saved. This is why everybody's talking about vaccines. They're talking about masks. They tell you to shut the shut the uh, uh, gyms down. They don't even encourage you to work out because they want someone else to save you. That's why I say it's part of the course when we talk about the body positivity. If you're looking and you feel like you're in the bizarro world where it's like, wow, we live in this day and age where people being big is something that you, you like. It's a crime for you to acknowledge that that's not a preferable way to live. That's not healthy. And then they act like you done said something that was a crime, ableist or something like that. Some crazy it's like, no, nah, bro. That shit's not healthy, okay? Now, look, if you cared about your loved ones and and the people that you, you know, not even about your loved ones, you care about yourself. Let's start there. Please. I know it's hard sometimes, the motivation to get around, uh, get out there, move around, move about. Pay attention to what it is that you eat instead of ordering the number two from McDonald's every other day. Maybe you go to the outer edge of the grocery store or something like that. Buy the food, cook the food, consume something just far more healthier and actually far more filling. It's funny. Uh, you know, we had talked about this. I don't know if you have, we had this big powwow with a, a, a big group of uh, leftists. Uh, this was maybe earlier this year or late last year. Um, kind of spent a bunch of videos where folks act as, as if it, 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 some, again, it goes back to the excuses, but so many people act like eating healthy is expensive. And that's why people eat fast food. And I'm sitting here like, what? That doesn't, that, first of all, that's false, right? Because if you think of you spending the number, um, I don't know, you, you get a large, a large uh, number three or whatever. Right. Whether it's from Burger King or McDonald's, Chick-fil-A, you're going to spend between eight to ten dollars on that one meal. Do you know how much stuff that I could get that I could consume that'll be better for me for eight bucks, eight to ten bucks? You could get some rice. You could get some chicken breast. Right. With that, this that's an excuse. I'm not trying to hear that. Like, well, this is what there's no there's no fresh like. I'm like, and I always ask them, right? Cause it's always excuse. Oh, people in, people in, in these areas don't have grocery stores where they can go to I'm like, name this, name the spot. And I'm going to try to find the nearest grocery store. And they never can give me the, the area that they live in where these supposed lower socioeconomic people don't have access to this, to this food. There's a Walmart damn everywhere. Even neighborhood Walmart's got fresh food. Those damn things are everywhere. So what are you talking about? But you can get eggs, you can get, you can get all sorts of different things that are far more, let's say, <laughs> healthy <laughs> than getting a number three from Wendy's. I know I'm just throwing numbers. I'm just throwing numbers out, out there kind of, uh, hopefully I'm not like that number three from Wendy's isn't like a salad or something like that. But you get what I'm saying, man. You know, you know what I'm saying? But it's not as expensive as what you think you can eat healthy on a budget. But it does take discipline. And obviously to cook stuff, I know that's the whole lure of fast food, right? Is the time, right? It's like, I don't want to spend money to, you know, to eat. I, I can just go through the, the, the fast food. I don't want to spend money to cook, right? I don't want to do that. I can spend the money and have the meal ready for me, eat it, I'm done with it, no matter how filling it is or not, right? Um... Man, it's, it's funny talking about this, you know, and, and hearing everybody's different health. Uh, everybody kind of has their what they see as as healthy. And some of that stuff is of merit because it, it may differ from body to body. Um, but seeing people on these sort of different diets where they eat only once a day, obviously fasting is something that that helps out a lot. But seeing people that eat, eat once a day and how they manage that and how that could fill them up for a long period of time. You know, that's these are spectacular things There's so much. 
so many breakthroughs that have happened throughout the last, the course, even the last decade. And, and, and uh, a lot of what we've learned about uh, dieting has been a lie, certainly uh, when you consider like the food pyramids and all of that sort of stuff. But nonetheless, there's, there's a bunch of different ways to get it. And I just don't want to let people make it with the excuses that they cannot do it. But that's the first thing that people think is that, well, I'm the exception uh, to the rule because I'm, I'm as big as a walrus and it's not my fault or something like that. Or it's someone else's responsibility to take care of me. Uh, health, looking at the health care system and you say something like true preventive, um, true preventive care is something that is within you. Like that starts with you and the stuff that you consume and stuff. Of exercise. And then you get these fools. Well, a well, actually, well, well, actually, like, bro. I'm not saying that you shouldn't go to the doctor. Interesting enough, though, I, I would encourage you guys to look up the numbers of people that died due the medical mal uh, like malpractice, if you will. Um, some freaky numbers there of, of, of the amount of people that died due to that. But that's not that's beside the point. I'm not telling people not to go to the doctor. What I'm saying is even that stuff that they end up discovering early on and, and, and applying those sorts of treatment to because you went to get a checkup. A lot of that stuff can be prevented by way of dieting and by way of eating healthy, by way of exercising and taking care of your body. But the whole body positivity is going to get a lot of people killed. Um, and, uh, it's going to be a lot of people dying early, which is hilarious because generally when it comes to that side, that that's so about body positivity, they're also about mask and, 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 and protecting people and saying you hate folks for, uh, or you want to kill people want to kill grandma because you don't think that there should be a mask mandate. Um, and you think that spots should be re reopened and the people that are, that want to assume the risk should be free to assume the risk. And that's what's always hilarious to me to see someone riding on one of those motor motor fucking carts. Not because they they uh, there's something wrong with them in a sense like, oh, well, they broke their leg uh, due to exercise. No, but because they fat as hell and they ain't going to be able to walk up and down the aisles. That's why they in that and they got their fucking face covered goes to show what the priorities are. Um, um, there because your fat ass is a lot more threatening to, even when it comes to COVID-19, it's a lot more threatening to your health, um, uh, in that regard. But let me, t let me tell it. And then someone's like, well, you did, I didn't know you were a doctor. I'm not just a guy that's been working out my entire life. Um, and the doctor, if the doctor gave a damn about you and your health, they'll be telling you to get off your fat ass as well.